your first measurement with Pronto 250, how to make sure that everything goes right. This is what we're going to talk about today on Gentechio Academia. Hey everyone, I'm Kevin from Gentechio, your partner for accuracy. These are the key steps to make sure your first measurement with Pronto 250 is done right. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I will be using a Pronto 250 Plus, but everything mentioned in this video also applies to Pronto 250, as well as Pronto 500, 3K, 6K, and 10K. Now, the first step, before we even boot up the device, you'd want to mount it on the stem. Now, it might be tempting to hold the device in your hand while you make the measurement, but the unit can get pretty hot, especially the higher powers, so it's not exactly safe to do this. So. Let's go into that. Now we can boot up the device by pressing the blue button right here. At this stage, we will already be ready to start the measurement sequence, but before we do that, you'll want to make sure that the wavelength is correctly set in the display interface. I'm using a 1064 nanometer laser, so I will select 1064 here. It's really important that you do this step too, because this basically tells the Pronto 250 what calibration data should be used for your measurement. All right, now we can make the measurement itself. To do this, Press the play button, which is this button right here. The Pronto now goes into a standby mode where it waits until a laser is detected. Once this happens, a five second countdown will begin during which you must leave your laser running. After this five second countdown, the measurement will appear on the display after which you can shut down the laser. As you can see, the measurement appear on the screen as soon as the countdown finished. However, you may have noticed that I didn't shut down my laser. This is to show you that the measurement is not continually being updated after that. You must press the play button again if you want to make another measurement. Don't overextend for too long after you get your measurement, otherwise the unit might overheat. You can always keep an eye on the thermometer icon here on the display, which will appear in red if the unit is overheating. So, simple enough, eh? Don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you, everybody.